Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about our most lightweight, compact folding wheelchair. So this is our Lift Tech Compact. It's actually the world's smallest folding and most compact wheelchair. Um, so the type of demographic that would be buying this chair uh, would be people that maybe like to use the wheelchair inside. Um, it's incredibly narrow, so it fits through any doorway with a piece of cake. It's good at navigating narrow hallways, um, kitchens, things like that. Uh, it's got a complete 360 degree turning circle on its own axis. Um, it's actually got the smallest kind of length wheelbase as well of any chair on the market. Uh, so it's really, really good at going around your home uh, uh, shopping centres um, and, you know, basically just small areas where you can operate in. Um, it's also good at grass, but uh, hard grass. Uh, it can still do things like curbs, um, but we need to find drop curbs rather than full length curbs like you can. Um, with the smart chair range. Um, obviously with every wheelchair there's going to be some sort of a compromise so the smart chair the smart chair ranges are obviously heavier with bigger wheels um, whereas the demographic that buy this are buying a solely because it's so light and compact so they can simply pick it up and put it into the boot of their car. Um, a good example of this is my mum she's 68 years old um, she's literally five foot nothing uh, weighs about eight and a half nine stones something like that and she can even literally pick the chair up by its legs and stick it straight into the boot of her um, Ford Fiesta, which obviously is quite a small boot as well. Um, there are a couple of ways of lifting this chair. Straight from the leg, straight up. You can even lift it one-handed, it's that light. Or you can do a horizontal lift if you want to lift it into a, a boot of your car. Even if you decide that um, you're aged or you have a certain disability, um, and this chair works out being even too heavy for you to lift. Even a two-man lift can be done by literally anyone. We have couples in their 90 that do two-man lift with a, literally standing on their head uh, with this chair. Um, so it is incredibly versatile, incredibly good. Because not only there might be a couple of other chairs on the market which are slightly lighter, but because of its such small size and it's, it's so easy to get your hands around it and to be able to lift it up into things. Okay, so I'm going to show you the folding and unfolding of this chair. So I'm going to turn it around so you can see. At the back, you've got a stanchion bar across here. So what I'm actually gonna do is put my foot on the bar, and whilst I push down on the bar, I'm gonna pull up with my arms on the armrest. So, foot down on the bar, and pull up. Okay, so once we're in this position, we've got two little catches at the side. This basically locks this kind of rotating, swinging bit into place. So we put it back, and then because we don't want it to flap around, we then lock it off again, and we bring the chair up into a central position. So as you can see, it did actually go into a climb position. So this chair is actually called the compact recliner. So it does have the option of pulling back on this cable here and putting it into a recline mode. The same way as if you put it into a recline mode, if you keep holding it and pushing back, it's also how you collapse the chair. So once you get the chair into kind of um, a horizontal level position, you'd simply take the clips off to um, release this latch, lock them back off again, and just push the chair to the ground and bring the chair up into an upright position. That is how you fold and unfold the chair. So I'll show that to you once more so you can see. Okay, so it's foot down, one, two, three, four, five, and then you're ready to operate it. So a good thing about this chair is it can not only be used in electric mode, but it can also be used in manual mode. So, Good thing about this, you can be pushed in the chair very, very easily. You can even use this chair as a stroller, so you can still get a bit of mobility if you want to get a bit of exercise. And then if you have any funny five minutes or get tired, you would then simply put the chair into electric mode, sit in it, and then you can use it from the joystick as an electric wheelchair. So you get the best of both worlds. Um, another great designer feature of this chair is when the chair is in a folding position, It can also actually be used around the house by being pushed or by being pulled. Of course, I know this chair is incredibly lightweight um, and you can lift this chair around the house, but if it has um, options to be able to push or pull it in a, um, a, a free wheel mode, why would you lift it? You might as well save yourself the heartache and backache and the effort and just push the chair around the place. Okay, so unfold. 
Okay, so I'm now going to talk about the different motors, sorry, the different components on this chair. So as you'll be able to see, this has got a slightly different setup at the back from our original chair. So the old, this is the old one's motor and wheel design. And this one, as you can see, has different uh, upgraded wheels and motors for 2020. Okay, so these two motors, they're two times 230 watt brushless motors. Um, brushless motors are literally the best motors you can buy on the market. They're the most reliable. Um, they're the most kind of uh, hard, most hard wearing. Uh, when they're in electric mode, you can change direction very, very easily, very quickly. You can spin on your own axis. Great for going up and down hills because they're strong. But it also means when you flip these little levers at the back into manual mode, it then means that um, it can be you can be pushed very easily. Rule of thumb is the better quality the motors the more free wheel um, it allows your wheels to run. Not sorry, easy free wheeling, it allows your wheels to run. Um, so it means that you can be pushed easier, it means you can tow the chair around the place much easier um, as well. Um, moving on to the batteries. So in this little rack here, we've got two times six AH batteries. So the good thing about six AH batteries is under the new laws, which came in last year, they're plane safe on every single airline in the whole world. So amazing for people that like to go traveling. I mean, this is literally the traveler's dream um, uh, for, for a chair. It's small, lightweight, very, very portable, and you can take absolutely anywhere with you. So these batteries can be charged through the joystick as a pair, or they have the option to be charged through their charge, uh, charging port. And you can either charge them separately, or through, um, once you're charging through here, it will run into the other battery, so you can actually charge them as a pair as well. Um, a good sort of scenario where this would work well is if you uh, only use your chair when you're going out and about, you can keep your chair in the boot of the car and you can take the batteries inside uh, to the house then to charge them. Or say you're on holiday and you're only allowed to keep your chair in the lobby, for example, you could then take your batteries up to your hotel room every single night and charge them. So to put the batteries back in, you simply put them so the inner bits of the batteries are kind of facing each other. You pop them back in the racking system and then this little dangling wire here, you just connect it like so and then just make sure you twist the catch quite hard from this angle, you twist the catch and then you sit last of all, just make sure they're in and twist that back down. Okay, so next thing we're going to talk about is the wheels. So as discussed earlier, these are our new upgraded wheels and motors for 2020. They're eight inch solid puncture proof tires on the rear and they're seven inch solid puncture proof uh, tires on the front. The front ones especially are very squidgy, which will help over rougher terrain, like cobbles. This chair can still do cobbles, no problem at all. Uh, it can still take potholes, uneven terrain. It can still do half, uh, sorry, drop curbs. But what you find is you won't be able to do the, the full curbs like you can with the wheelchairs with the big 12 and a half inch wheels. Um, but you know that's just a compromise you you get for having such a lightweight folding wheelchair it's just a different demographic um okay so i'm going to show you the different ways of getting in and out of a chair so the easiest way if you have a bit more mobility is to simply put your leg either side of the joystick find the armrest sit down and put your legs on last the other way and this way will probably suit more people so if you come in from the side of a wheelchair, of any wheelchair, it's gonna get you much closer to the seat because you don't have to navigate all of this. So whereas uh, when you're coming in from the front, you have to basically be start from here and fall back into the chair. I can literally put the back of my legs here when coming in either from a three quarter angle or straight from the side. I literally don't even have to look at the chair. I know it's behind me, I can sit down, I find the armrest, bring my feet across and bring the armrest down last. So. Just going to lock off these motors so the chair doesn't actually move around. Um, another great advantage of both armrests being able to come up is it means you can get right underneath tables for eating, drinking, working, whatever. And also with this chair, it's quite low compared to a lot of chairs. So whereas other wheelchairs um, on the market are a bit higher, so when you're going under tables, you catch your legs um, on the bottom of the table. This one can actually go straight underneath tables, no problem at all. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of how the chair manoeuvres and reacts. So you've got a couple of buttons on the joystick. At the top you've got an on-off button and then you've got the speed buttons and then you've got a horn at the bottom. This is basically to let people know you're around just for their safety and for your own. 
So the minus button on here will obviously decrease the speed and the plus button will then increase your speed. Um, it goes from 0.5 miles an hour up to four. And at the very top, just above where you've got your on off button, you've also got a battery bar ranging from two red dashes, two amber dashes and green. Um, obviously when you're showing the full array of colors, it means your battery is fully charged. And then as you lose your green dots and then your amber dots and your reds, that's obviously showing you that the battery, you're losing battery charge. Um, on average, these batteries, um, well, the range will be about 14 miles per charge. And uh, the batteries from sort of three quarters, the best thing to do is drain the batteries 90%. So from a 90% drain, you're probably looking at about five hours to fully charge them up. Best thing to do is treat them just like your mobile phone, put it on at night, take it off in the morning. They don't even have to think about it or wait for it. And you'll always have full use of your wheelchair that way. Cool. So I'm going to take you through how this chair performs. Like I said earlier, it's great for around the home. It literally spins on its own axis if you just put the wheelchair in one direction. Um, also, it's like a joystick, so I don't have to go forward and back. I can also go forward, back, side to side at the same time. Um, you know, whatever way I put the joystick, the wheelchair is going to go. It's also got the electromagnetic brakes, which are inbuilt into the motor. So, so I take my hand off, it'll click and that's the motor disengaging, sorry, engaging, sorry, and that'll stop me dead, whether I'm on an upslope, downslope, or on the flat. Same as if I'm coming up forward towards you, take my hand off, I'll instantly stop as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Lift Tech Compact. So if you're looking for an ultra lightweight, sleek, compact electric phone wheelchair that you can take anywhere in the world, it's great for traveling, great for around the house, and it was also so light, I can literally lift it above my head, um, then the um, Lift Tech Compact is uh, probably the chair on the market for you. Um, many thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.